Hello Skiller fans, today we'll analyse an explosive boxing style, a style embodied by a high IQ boxer who capitalises on his opponent's mistakes in the most devastating way, one punch knockout power. Let's dissect Javonta Davis' style, starting with his boxing stance. Boxing stance. Javonta typically employs the Philly shell from the southpaw stance during his fights. However, what's truly intriguing about his boxing stance is his excellent use of the long guard. Standing five feet, five inches tall, it's uncommon for a shorter boxer to effectively utilize a long guard. Yet Javonta leverages this technique flawlessly to measure the distance and put frames between him and his often larger opponents. He's trying to take the jab away from Barrios and he's doing it right. The distance between yes. himself and Barrios now is, you know. Now, let's explore what makes Davis such an exciting boxer. Changing levels. Okay, so what do we mean by changing levels? When we take a look at Javonta's power punches, a noticeable pattern emerges. He slightly ducks before punching, changing levels from down to up. His natural heavy hands, along with that quick level change, is what makes his punches so powerful. Despite being the shorter fighter, he leverages this to his advantage by employing his legs to generate additional power. Watch the feet, Jen. Jen, my feet, watch the feet, Jen. This strategy mirrors other power punches who face taller opponents, such as the great Mike Tyson. But everything seems to spring from your legs and, and, and your stomach. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I used to punch with the snap, my, my shoulders and my legs. And they bring the punches together with accurate and precision. Yeah. He uses that impulse of his legs to increase the force behind his punches, incorporating different punch variations. A great example, even though he does not use it as much as his gazelle punch or lead hook. Town NFL team, the Baltimore Ravens. But, oh my! One of his nicknames. Employing a swift level change, he lunges up, utilising the momentum to deliver a devastating lead hook. Another perfect example, and this may very well be his best punch, is the uppercut. Davis thinks he's got him done and Michelle Myers has seen enough! <laughs> Another punch where he maximises his height advantage with an explosive upward motion. And against definitely a those combinations. Oh. And a cruise through the right in Davis. And then this is going to fold from his. Oh my. Davis. Collecting data. If there is something that stands out about Javonta Davis, is how good he capitalizes on his opponent's mistakes. He is not a reckless power puncher, but more of an intelligent knockout artist. He usually starts off every round moving around the ring and analysing his opponent's reactions. His exceptional lateral movement often goes unnoticed, but plays a crucial role in his strategy.
He is extremely confident just moving around the ring and being elusive, which enables him to collect data in the process. Davis, what he does is, we said it at the beginning of the show, he collects data early in a fight, not to be a boxer, but to find a way to knock you out. He doesn't maintain a constant pace. Instead, he takes time to analyze and then exploits opportunities. Respect for what he thought Sanchez could do. The approach from Sanchez. Voyages of PBC. I haven't seen, we've seen ones and twos. We haven't seen those combinations. Yeah, Davis didn't want any part in touching gloves again. He says, I got some more cuts. Oh, and a second one. Oh. As mentioned by Kermel Moton in this clip. Tank Kimor. He move around more and he wait and he explode with shots. He likes to fight in uh, spurts. Once he has identified his opponent's tendencies, he explodes usually with a quick counterattack. The awkward put in this, but he's not the one. There's a big left hand. Parries. While he receives praise for his head movement, his parrying skills are equally exceptional. Can turn up the heat. Now he's looking to push. He can connect in the volume. So far, his reflexes and rapid reactions enabled him to deflect his opponent's punches, especially at a distance. Boxing, and F, which basically means to put up on Quayshad. That's left in round two. Can Quayshad survive? Side. He's going to try. He needs. It is not uncommon to see him using parries even during long combinations, and sometimes blending them with his head movement. His parries also enabled him to quickly counter without having to change position. We've had it throughout the course of the course here this evening. We're going to recap some of the tops right now by Gervonta. Both fighters lamps his head back with a left. Nicely. The start Santa Cruz is going to fold from his... Oh my! Now that we have seen his best skills, let's take a look at what could be his biggest flaw. Loss of focus. While for the majority of his fight he is concentrated and analysing his opponent, he sometimes loses focus. On certain occasions, that loss of focus has led him to getting hit clean with unnecessary punches. Big shot! Nevertheless, Davis remains an extraordinarily skilled all-around boxer, with one-punch knockout power on top of it. But now, we would love to know your opinion on the comments. Do you see other skills or flaws? And if you like this content, you can find out more on our channel. And to your left, we have chosen a video we thought you may like. 